What's up, guys? Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears related. And today we're taking an in-depth look at Caleb Williams' development, an all-22 breakdown of his last two games, showing the best and worst from his film against the Colts and Rams, a double feature focusing on his development as a passer. Every single Chicago Bears fan in the world should be rooting for his success. And he's already showed us glimpses of being the franchise quarterback we've always dreamed about. Let's go ahead and get right into it. The first throw I wanna show is just special. This one's not even a completed pass. Caleb breaks out of the pocket, is rolling out, gets into trouble, and throws a sidearm pass on the move while taking a hit, helmet to the helmet by the way, and we do get the roughing the passer call, but he puts this one, look at this. This is just beautiful. The way he's able to stop, throw a sidearm pass around the defender on the run and put it pretty much right on DJ Moore. DJ's gotta catch this by the way. I mean, it's not a perfect pass, but it's absolutely beautiful that he's even able to get that to DJ Moore. DJ's got to catch that. But as Bears fans, we're celebrating that. First roughing the passer call in two years. The second play here, it's another incomplete pass, actually. But I actually like this play call. Waldron has Caleb rolling out. You see he's got a couple of options here as well. This is one of those three-level plays. But he actually layers this pass and actually puts it right on the money. Look at where this ball goes. Cole Komet kind of gets lost there in the action, but when you look at it from the other angle, look at where this ball lands. Layered beautifully, and Cole Komet, it still hit him in the hand. Cole got kind of turned around here. Cole was going to break inside, realizes the pass was going over, spins around, and just loses track of the ball for a second, but that was a dime. But if you want to see an actual dime, watch this. First off, Nice job with the play action. Good job with the pocket here. Everybody's blocked up. Khalil Herbert breaking down to the flat. Romo Dunze beating his man in one-on-one. -on -one. And Caleb is going to throw an absolute dime. Perfect on the money to Romo Dunze. These are the kind of passes that Caleb Williams was drafted number one overall for. The offensive line gave him a pocket. He could have checked it down to Khalil Herbert, but he recognizes Romo Dunze with a step on his defender and throws an absolute dime. Love to see it. This is a play call I liked by Shane Waldron. This time DJ is going to be taking the top off the defense and Romo Dunze is going to come on a crosser over the middle of the field. I love this. It's also another play action pass from under center. This is what we've been asking for. Another pretty clean pocket here as well. Braxton drives his guy out. Nice job. Clean pocket. DJ's drawing the double coverage over top, clearing out the safety and opening this up for Rome. And then Caleb again. Beautiful. Dime ball. Perfect location to Romo Dunze. Their connection is something to watch. It's special, and it's only going to get better and better. But I thought this was a beautiful play design. Get the ball to Romo Dunze. There was actually pretty good coverage on this play, but a beautiful throw from Caleb Williams. This is one of my favorite passes. Cole Komet's going to get right behind the linebacker, right in front of the safety. Tight window pass here. Watch this from Caleb Williams. Hits the back of his drop, steps up. Cole Komet is just releasing into the open space. Caleb sees it, throws an absolute dime in between three defenders. This is what you love to see. Beautiful pass from Caleb Williams. This is the touchdown. Nice play design here. Is he's going to have Cole Komet and Gerald Everett both just distracting these guys and letting Cole Komet kind of get free down into the flat. Pretty good job in pass protection here. Caleb has time. Sees Cole Komet wide open as Romo Dunze is drawing two defenders here. Great job by Rome with the double coverage. That leaves Cole Komet wide open. Touchdown Bears. Now this was his worst throw of the game. Again, this is going to be a clean pocket. Good job in pass protection. Everyone is doing their job out there. Caleb has a pocket. He has time to read the field. 
and he has DJ Moore cutting over the backside of the field for what would have been a first down here. I like the look to DJ Moore here, but he chooses to go one-on-one -on -one with his guy, Romo Dunze. And again, I'm never going to knock Caleb for taking a shot with Romo Dunze in one-on-one -on -one coverage. But like I said, this was his worst throw of the game. Clean pocket. He's not under pressure. One-on-one. -on -one, he's got Rome. Throws it. Misses him by a good five to seven yards. Just not good on that one. You do not want to see that. Well, I'm not going to harp on him too much. He's not under pressure. It's a clean pocket. DJ Moore is coming wide open for what would have been the first down. I don't know if we necessarily need the deep shot here. A first down would have kept this drive going. This was third and long. But again, I'm not going to harp on Caleb for taking the deep shot. But if you do, don't miss him by this much. This was the one though. The interception. DeAndre Carter is wide open if you would have hit him on time. But Caleb's going to hitch and then throw it cornerback has time to come up and jump this if he doesn't step out of bounds here this is an easy pick six this is a throw that Caleb cannot make watch it again you see he's open if he throws it on time he's wide open this corner has no chance to get back here because Romo Dunze has driven him 10 yards off the line of scrimmage but once Rome stops on his route he's looking back at Caleb Caleb has still not thrown the ball yet. DeAndre Carter is waiting for it here. At this point, the corner makes a smart decision, jumps on the route as the quarterback's throwing it. He was way back here when Caleb threw it. But this is a welcome to the NFL moment. Guys are a little bit faster in the NFL. In college, they probably don't get down there and make that jump. But this is one that Caleb has to learn from. He will. He will get better. This is the sack fumble. And this one's tough. A lot of people blamed Cole Komet for this, and he does get beat to the outside. Watch as Mercedes Lewis goes to help him. Mercedes Lewis is going to push Liatu Latu to the outside and actually give him such a boost that he beats Cole Komet to the edge here. The push from Mercedes Lewis actually is what caused Cole Komet to get beat here. And then Mercedes, he tries to get back there, but then he just watches the ball get knocked out of Caleb's hand. This one's tough. Caleb was going to step up. He was going to throw the ball. Liatu dove at him and knocks the ball out. This is just a great play from a guy who was a first-round pick. But what I want you to watch is Caleb Williams, after the ball's on the ground, watch how he goes for it. This is a guy who loves football. He dives at it, and he's fighting the defensive lineman for the ball down there. Literally rolling around with him. Caleb Williams' biggest issues so far have been overthrows and misses from a clean pocket. But even in just four weeks, we've seen a ton of development, and Caleb actually seems to be making progress as a quarterback in the NFL. Aside from playing turnover-free football and helping his team pick up a victory, Caleb also made a couple of special throws. Two of his passes against the Rams were two of the best passes I've ever seen from a Bears quarterback. Let's go ahead and look at those. This is the first one over the middle of the field to Cole Komet. He layers this throw over the top of the linebacker and puts it right on Cole Komet. This throw was a thing of beauty. We have a decent pocket here. Caleb throws this with anticipation, layers it over the fingertips of the linebacker. Beautiful pass to Cole Komet. But the touchdown pass he threw to DJ Moore, this was absolutely special. What Caleb does with his eyes on this play is what sets up the touchdown pass. As soon as the ball is hiked, he's looking to the left and opening up the middle of the field for DJ Moore who he knows has one-on-one -on -one coverage with a linebacker thanks to a beautiful play design by Shane Waldron. But Caleb operates this play like a veteran in the NFL, holding the safety to the left side of the field, keeping him away from DJ Moore, and leaving a wide open area for Caleb to throw a dime to DJ Moore with the pocket collapsing on him. This is another beautiful aspect of this play is the composure that Caleb shows here. 
pocket is collapsing all around him. He holds the safety long enough and then throws a beautiful pass, drops it in the bucket to DJ Moore, throws this one with anticipation. You can't make a better throw than this. Watch it one more time here. Gets the safety to go to the left, holds him off, leaves it open over the middle of the field, pocket collapsing around him, dime to DJ Moore in the back of the end zone. This was a thing of pure beauty and really shows how Caleb Williams is progressing as a quarterback in the NFL. He's making checks at the line of scrimmage. He's getting guys lined up correctly. He's operating from under center. He's utilizing play action passes. He's using his eyes to look off safeties, and he's throwing with anticipation. Right now, Caleb Williams is exhibiting all the skills you need from a franchise quarterback, and his development is key for the Chicago Bears' success. He is slowly getting better and better right in front of our very eyes. This is a quarterback developing in the NFL. I love what I've seen from Caleb Williams. But on this play here, I just want you to watch Rome Odunze. I've talked about Rome since way before we even drafted him. He was one of my favorite players in the draft class, but for some reason, he's gotten a lot of hate recently. Just watch Rome here explode off the line of scrimmage. He makes the other guys look like they're running in slow motion, but this is a touchdown if Caleb sees him. Caleb is looking down the field, but he's going to choose to check it down to Cole Komet and pick up the first down, but this could have been a touchdown pass here. Instead, it goes for a first down to Cole Komet. But we need to just watch Romo Dunze fly off the line of scrimmage again. This is insane. Beats the corner, gets by the safety, he's gone. Rome is wide open for a touchdown, a thing of absolute beauty. But Caleb Williams is just a warrior, a competitor, a guy who loves football. Watch this play here. Watch how he fights out of the pocket, runs the open field, gets his eyes downfield, finds DJ Moore, and throws one of the sweetest passes I've seen yet. An absolute frozen rope to DJ on the sideline. Even DJ looks surprised at how quick this ball gets there. Let me play this in regular speed and put a timer on it. Just insanely quick. Caleb Williams. This one was called back on a hold, but this pass was just, this is Caleb right here. This is our quarterback. That's what he's able to do. You can't stop that. But overall, even through just four games, we've already seen so many positive signs and real development from Caleb Williams. And I've seen a lot of beautiful designs from Shane Waldron. A lot of fans were too quick to give up on Shane Waldron, to give up on DeAndre Swift, to want to throw this entire offensive line away, and even a lot of fans regretting trading away Justin Fields. But guys, we need to have some patience with a rookie quarterback. We're 2-2, two and two, and he's shown every quality we would want from a franchise quarterback. He just needs to take a little bit of juice out of some of those overthrows and continue developing. What we've seen so far are a ton of positive signs, but if you've listened to me all offseason, we expect that from a rookie quarterback. All rookie quarterbacks struggle. Every single one that has ever played in the NFL has went through ups and downs and struggled. Caleb Williams is going to have more struggles, but it's how he bounces back and the positive signs he shows every week. I am so confident that Caleb Williams is going to be the best quarterback we've ever seen, and my excitement level for this franchise continues to grow. I can't wait for tomorrow's matchup against the Panthers. Hopefully we can get a win, guys. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling. Please remember to hit that like button for me. Stay tuned, and until next time, Bear down.